Alright guys, mm -hmm. fire away. Hey Matt, what, what's allowed um, Andy to have success, his teams to have success, his offense to have success with uh, players other than the starter at quarterback historically? What is it that creates that offense? Yeah, I think just he puts together a really good game plan. I think everybody understands uh, their job. Um, they execute at a high level. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, conversation during the week between him and, and the quarterback on what he's thinking. And so I just think, you know, who, who's ever back there has a really good idea of what coach wants. And um, there's there's no questions. You go in feeling really good. So I think that's a, that's a big part of it. Matt, I'm sorry you didn't ask this before when you first got signed. But can you tell, where exactly were you when you got the call that, that Chiefs were interested in you? And, and you told your agent, just, what was that communication process like for you to know that you still had a chance to go back and you wanted to go back and play? Yeah, I just got a phone call. I mean, I got out of the blue. I got a phone call and, and uh, thought about it quickly and made that decision. Um, there was no plan. There was no, uh, you know, we weren't doing anything to, to find a job, if you will. Um, it just kind of happened. Have you called? Uh, Veach called first and then Coach Reed. Man, I know we I know we've this before the, the circumstances of no OTA training camp, mm -hmm. preseason game to get sort of your body ready. Um, because of your experience, what have you taken from that that you can apply to keep your body as fresh as possible? Yeah, playing in the middle of the season, understanding guys are trying to yeah. uh, be physical. Yeah, and, and then obviously, you know, you do a lot of training in. OTAs and training camp, which I didn't have. So I think instantly when I got here, it, I kind of got into that mode a little bit. And then especially when you start playing, you, the recovery is crucial. Um, so that's been big, just trying to feel as good as you can uh, every day. So it's it's a it's an everyday thing. And, and the people we have here do a really good job of, of making sure you're in the shape you need to be in and, and feel the best you can. Is there, is there one trick you took from Carolina or Miami that you can apply here? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, in season, it's a different beast. You know what I mean? So I think you just go out and, and practice hard. I mean, that's going to probably be the best thing for you. Just practice as game-like as you can. Um, I mean, there's no secret other than doing whatever you can do to, to feel your best. Now, have they talked at all about what will happen when Patrick comes back? No, no. We're, we are uh, kind of in the same pattern we've been in in the past couple of weeks. Um, we're, we're day to day and, and moving forward uh, uh, similar to last week. So, um, Practice wise, you know, again, take advantage of the reps that you get um, and just kind of go that way. Matt, have you played with a receiver in your career that's quite got the combination of skills that Tyreek does? Man, he's a he's a unique guy. Um, you know, there's not many there's not many guys out there like him. Um, I've played with some good ones, but he's different, you know, and, and to have him to know he can track down any ball and use his speed and his talents to get open the way he does, um, it's it's a nice feeling knowing you got him out there. Matt, you might have addressed this Sunday, but I, on the third and four that set up the game-winning field goal, mm -hmm. you connected with Tyree, mm -hmm. can you just take us through what, what adjustments were made at the line? Yeah. Uh, I mean, not many. We had a really good play call on, and uh, if anything, Tyreek, I think, just kind of sped up his route a little bit. Uh, he was aware. Uh, it was a blitz. He was aware and uh, kind of quickened it up. and. You know, it was a good target, and we hit him, and, and he did the rest. So um, nothing special, just just good execution there. And how much of that just goes from you knowing him a little bit, too, I mean, at this stage after a few games? Yeah, it's nice. You know, early on you get to watch, and you try and pick up as much as you can about these guys, some of their style of play, how they play. And, and so I had that benefit of just watching for a little bit. but um, And then obviously being with them the past couple of weeks, um, you get to know quickly because it can benefit you as a quarterback. So um, I, I had anticipated that he was going to recognize that and, and quicken it up, and, and it's exactly what he did, and it was a big play for us. When locking yourself back, were you impressed with that you were able to address some of the things that you noticed in that, that first week, uh, uh, what you were able to um, do? You had noted that. Yeah. Yeah, there were some things that we corrected, and then uh, you know you go back and watch, and now there's there's a handful of things that you got to correct again. You know what I mean? It's it's a never ending battle that way. I think you're striving to get better every day. Um, but yeah, there was we cleaned up some things, and and obviously each game poses different issues, challenges, uh, things to correct. So um, again, we're every day we're we're adjusting and adapting, trying to get better. Yeah, you said you've been kind of all ears to what Pat gives you during a game and what he sees over the last two games. 
Has anything stuck out of what he's told you that you've gone out in a certain formation or play and actually happened the way? Man, I wish I had a great story for you. Um, I mean, it's all just little things, you know, just just – uh, tidbits, you know, maybe formationally coverage, you know, maybe a way uh, a DB's playing, um, things like that. Uh, right now, at this moment, nothing stands out to me, but um, he's definitely, definitely been a help for sure. And you mentioned it's been a little bit of a holding pattern on practice and mm -hmm. day to day. As we stand here, like right now, do you know what your practice is going to be like today? Do you know how many reps you're getting with the ones? I, mean, I, I don't. I don't. I'm going to, no, I don't. I'm going to go out and, and practice and prepare. Um, um, with whatever comes my way. And I think that's the approach I've taken uh, for a while now, and that's approach I'll, the approach I'll continue to take. Were you watching the game when Patrick got injured? And <laughs> did it occur to you that this might happen? I didn't. I mean, I was obviously watching. I didn't, uh, I mean, on a quarterback sneak, I did not anticipate something like that, no. Um, I mean, naturally, any. Once you saw that he was injured, did, you, did it occur to you that maybe I'll get a call and they'll want me to be the starting quarterback? Oh, oh. Too far flung an idea. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I thought that. I just, it's it's been wild. I've been trying to, like I said, day to day. I mean, that's the most honest answer I can give you. Matt, tell us about Patrick as a teammate. Phenomenal. Um, for a young guy who hasn't been around, the leadership is off the charts. Um, his relationships with all the guys is impressive. Uh, the way he communicates, um, the respect that he shows for everybody. I mean, it's he's what you want. Um, it's really impressive to see. Can you sum up the last, last couple one, weeks here and what it may mean for you going forward? Yeah, I mean, who knows? It's uh, It's been a wild couple weeks. Um, it's been fun. I've learned a lot. Um, so it's... What it means moving forward is, is you know, I got to be ready to go at all times, and and uh, you know, who knows what the future holds? I, you know, in this league, you never know. So I'm trying to be the best I can be every day, and that, that's all. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks Matt. Matt.